Now the first thing we need to do to solve this problem is to figure out what the formula for calcium hydroxide is. Now calcium is a group 2 element, so it makes a plus 2 charge. Hydroxide is a polyatomic ion that you should be familiar with, and it makes a negative 1 charge. So if you crisscross these guys, we end up with Ca and then OH with a 2 after it. And the 2 from the calcium goes after the hydroxide and vice versa. So here's our formula, and what we're going to do is figure out the molar mass, the total molar mass of the whole compound. So let's figure out who's in the compound to begin with. we got calcium, oxygen, and hydrogen. There's only one calcium because there's an imaginary one over here. There's two oxygens because, remember, we want two sets of hydroxide, OH and OH. So there's going to be two oxygens and there's two hydrogens because, again, we want two sets of hydroxides, and they each contain a hydrogen. Now, if you look on the periodic table at the molar mass, you can figure out how much calcium weighs if we have one mole, so it's 40.1 grams. Oxygen weighs 16.0 grams, and hydrogen weighs 1.0 grams. And if we do out the math here, 1 times 40.1 is still 40.1. 2 times 16 is 32.0, and 1 times 2 is 2. That's all of our parts. And then if we add them all up, we get the whole, and that's 74.1 grams. So this is our total mass. And if we want to figure out the percent of calcium, all we have to do is take the part that's calcium and divide it by the total. So 40.1, that's calcium, divided by 74.1, that's the total, and then we multiply that by 100, and we can get our percent. So 40.1 divided by 74.1 times 100 gives us 54.1%. And there's our percent of calcium in our compound.